assemble here in the presence of God to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony which is instituted of God regard, reg, reg, regulated by his commandment and blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ our father who presents whose presence bring happiness to every condition and whose favor sweetens every relationship in life. We pray thee to be present and to favor these two persons that they may be truly joined in the honorable estate of marriage. And as they have been brought together by thy providence, sanctify them by thy spirit and grant them full understanding of their new relationship. Enrich their lives by thy grace, that they may enjoy the comforts, undergo the cares, endure the trials, and perform the duties of life together as Christian people do under thy guidance and protection through our Savior, and Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. And amen. I would just like to read for you from Genesis 2. And I just want to read from verse 8. And the Lord God planted a garden, the eastward of Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant in his sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge and of good and evil. And the river went out of Eden to water the garden and from thence was it parted and became into four ends. The name of the first Pisan and it is which compassed the old land of, of Havita, where it is gold. And the gold of that land is gold there. The Badiam and the Axiom and the stone. And the name of the second river, Kayon, the same, is compassed the old land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river, Edikel, this is which going towards the east of Saria and Fort and fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord looked, and the Lord took the man and put him in the garden of Eden and dressed it, and to dress it and to keep it. 
And the Lord God commanded man saying, Every tree of the garden thou mightest freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge and of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him and help me. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the hair and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave name to all cattle, and to the fowl of the hill, and to every beast of the field. But unto Adam there was not found an help need for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she is taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And their boat was naked, and the man and his wife were not ashamed. I would just like to read that verse again. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Did you get that? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. This, I have to, I have to read it again because it seems, it seems a lot of people don't get that understanding. And because of that, we are having too many divorces. So I, I had to make sure I read that again. Amen. Amen. At uh, this time, <laughs> I just want you, like you to repeat after me, my brother. <laughs> Mr. Brother, Minister, you name it, Winston Perry, do you solemnly agree before God and all these witnesses to take this woman, Chrislyn Skinner, to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and to respect honor and cherish her in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, leaving all others and keep her unto yourself as long as you both shall live. I do. Can you hear that? So go let me have to come over there to you, you know. Amen, amen, amen. Sister, pastor, minister, Kreslin Skin. Do you in like manner solemnly agree to receive this man, Winston Perry, as your lawful wedded husband, to love and to respect him, to live with him in all faith, and tenderness, in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, 
leaving all others to keep him to yourself only as long as you both shall live? I do. They didn't hear you. I do. Amen. Yeah. 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 And God, I've got to make sure that they get that. Yeah. Will you please join your hands? Take. I'd like you to repeat after me. Just don't repeat because I said repeat. Make sure you're, you know that it is coming from you. Amen. Um, for the parent, I'd like you to look at not me now. Look at her. I'd like you to say, I, Winston Perry. I, Winston Perry. Do take you, Kristen Skinner. Do take you, Kristen Skinner. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I do promise. And I do promise. And covenant. And covenant. Before God. Before God. And all these witnesses. And all these witnesses. To be your loving. To be a loving. And faithful husband. And faithful husband. In plenty. In plenty. And in want. And in want. In joy. In joy. Or in sorrow. In sorrow. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we I wonder why she take that deep breath. <laughs> See, she's giving away her, oh, uh, all her freedom. No, giving away her freedom. He'll be there for you. <laughs> I like um, Pastor Skinner. I like you to repeat that for me. I, Crescent Skinner. Do take you, Winston Perry, to, to be my wedded husband, and I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I believe you have a ring. Am I right? Yes. Can I see the ring? <laughs> Let us pray. Father. As I lift up these emblems that has been brought in here today, your daughter and your son has brought these rings. And Lord, as you will notice, there is no brokenness in these rings. No cracks in these rings. They'll be placing it upon each other's finger to show their unbroken promise that you are making to each other today, God. May you bless these dreams and may it ever be a reminder of that which they have, that vow, that promise, that covenant that they are making before God and man today. Bless these dreams, bless these dreams, bless these emblems. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, I would like you to take her finger and don't push that on just slowly. I want you to say after me. This ring, this ring I give to you, I give to you in, token and pledge in token and pledge of our constant faith, our constant and, faith abiding love and abiding love in the name of the Father and the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen.
you in. I'm the same. I'm going to take this finger. And just repeat after me. This ring. This ring. I give to you. I give to you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. And abide in love in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. At this time, I'm just going to ask Reverend Williams to stand and pray for us. Just bow your heads and close your eyes if you would please. Father, we just thank you for this incredible opportunity, mighty God, that we can be witnesses to this union. Father, we ask that as you're present, that your presence will remain with them. We pray, Father God, that you will guide them into all that they will endeavor to partake of and do. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that your kingdom agenda will be their primary agenda. Father God, sanctify everything that will come their path, everything that they should touch. Mighty God, all of their ideas, their business plans, I pray, Lord, that everything will be filtered through you. And gracious God, I pray that you give them health, give them strength. All that you promised to do unto them, do so, we pray. All of this we ask in Jesus' name. We say, Amen. 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 I will always give True weakness and strength Happiness and sorrow For better for worse I will love you Let it be beautiful Life has begun from this moment. You are the one right beside you. It's where I belong from this moment on. From this moment, I have been blessed. I only for your happiness and for your love. I give my last breath from this moment on. I give my
pray for them and this time I ask them to kneel. Easier to help you out. Don't worry. Let us all look to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Heavenly Father. We have heard from these two persons the acceptance of their solemn and significant vows of marriage. Hallelujah. Will you now grant unto them the grace and courage, love and loyalty, constant and faithful to maintain these vows to the end of the way? May the new home radiate the sunshine of thy love. And may every heart that come in contact with their home in its several relationships be enriched and embodied. Strengthen them. Give them the courage that they need daily. Give them the courage they need daily. In trial, in testing, no matter what, my God may come their way. I ask you, your God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, to keep them, keep them, keep them in this covenant. No, you yeah. think that they will ever remember that the covenant is not so much for each of them, but because they belong to God, they are pleasing God. This is God's way. This is God's order. This is what God has promised. And who you join together, nothing I know of will put a center. I pray this blessing. I pray this blessing. Even much more, God, than that I can ask of you this hour. I pray now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may rise at the help of God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Hallelujah! 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 Glory to God! Glory to God! Glory to God! And again, before I pronounce you, man and wife, fully, I just want to say it again: nothing. But death must separate you both. Oh, bless the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. By the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel, I now declare you, Winston Perry. And Chrisley Skinner are now man and wife. According to God estate. Sir, you may now kiss your bride. other as if you were saying it to each other. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. 
Just turn around and look at your bride and your brother. Just look at them. I'm seeing, but remember, it's like it coming from you. Darling, the time has come when we'll three be dreaming of when at the altar we share our vows of love word sweetly spoken may they never be broken each for the other and both for the Lord, each for the other, and both for the Lord. Oh, darling, sweetheart, let the angels recall. Each for the other. 